This is from the gentleman over there. What the hell? He also sent you this bottle. It costs 15,000. Okay, now we're talking. You can go now, thank you. Hi, honey. Sorry, I might. What have you got there? This old creep tried to pick me up. Deal with him. Which one? Oh, that one. He will come right over. Hi, Dad. Hey, son. Um, uh, honey. Uh, this is uh, my father. <laughs> Larry, Mr. Smith. And this is Leslie. I've been waiting to introduce you so long. <laughs> nice to meet you, Leslie. Mm. Son, this is so unexpected. I was just... Uh, you were just hitting on my girlfriend. Yeah. You have really great taste. I'm gonna give you that. Is Mrs. Smith here too? Honey, relax. My parents are divorced. And my father has been in search, so to speak. That's right. Leslie, please, I would have never done something like this if I knew you with someone. Someone? Son, stop it, okay? Because your girlfriend's gonna think that I'm just Wonderful a... father. Great man with really good taste in sparkling wine. <laughs> Maybe you will join us. Yeah you'll have a chance to make it up to Leslie. Well, I'd love to join you, but it's up to Leslie, of course. Mr. Smith, I think we should start fresh and forget about this. <laughs> yeah. Leslie, please, forgive an old fool like me. <laughs> it's okay, honey, you can open the bottle. It's not getting any colder. Larry, here's your glass. Thank you, mm -hmm. Leslie. So, to unexpected meetings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, so that is why Sam has this strange habit of making weird faces in the mirror. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> Sam, listen, why don't you go to the bar? Get another bottle of wine for us. Mm. But the restaurant closes in 15 minutes. Listen, your evening might be over. But mine, it's just beginning. Okay, whatever you say, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, Leslie, how long have you two been dating? Five months now. Really, huh? So it's just the beginning, huh? Is that serious? Well, I don't know. Yeah. You know, Sam is a bit indecisive. What do you mean? Sam's a loser. Well, he's pretty much a loser. Obviously, he can't support you for your future, it's clear. I think that you've had too much to drink. No, sweetie, I haven't had too much to drink. You deserve better than Sam. I don't like hearing that. Yeah, and I don't like having a son who's ready to walk away from a multi-million dollar family corporation for some stupid little startup of his own. So what? Maybe he'll succeed. No, sweetie. You know, I've been in business my entire life. And guys like that, losers, they don't stand a chance. Why are you telling me this? Because I know that Sam can't give you what you need. So, who can? Go ahead, look. What do you think? Who do you think you are, huh? Here come the reinforcements. What happened here, guys? You know, honey, I'm tired. Let's go home. Dad, don't you want to come with us? No, son, it's okay. Like I said, my evening is just beginning. Yeah, Okay, fine. so I'll call you tomorrow. Bye, Leslie. It was nice meeting you. Honey. Honey. Yes? Honey. Are you going somewhere? 
Yes, I'm going to see my friend. I didn't expect you to be home so early. Too bad. I have some great news. Okay, your news have to wait because I'm late. Um, honey, it's urgent. Okay. Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay, so... We've been together for five months. And you know how much I love you. Will you marry me? Uh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, but not now. Not now? What, what do you mean by that? Sam, what did you expect? I mean, I can be sure of our future together, not yet. As soon as your business picks up, then we'll do it, okay? Darling, I'm really trying and I work hard. I think you might not love me at all. If you want to be a general's wife, you have to marry a private. Honey, that's the way it's gonna be, okay? I said yes, but we'll need to wait until you make your first big money. I'm late. I need to go. Bye! Good afternoon, sir. I've got some mail for you. A letter? I love getting mail. Why don't you come on inside and we'll read it together? Hmm? Leslie, why don't you text Sam and tell him that you're going to be late tonight? I told him I'm at a friend's house, so we have all night. So you made your choice, huh? Oh. Hey, is that a wedding ring? A, a wedding ring? No, it's just a piece of jewelry. Do you like it? I like it. I love it. It's gorgeous. You know, that looks just like the ring that Sam bought for you. Uh, how do you know that? We picked it up together. That's right. I was begging him not to spend so much money on it. It was the most expensive ring in the store. Sam, what are you doing here? It's a sapphire. It represents loyalty. Ironic, isn't it, Leslie? Honey, I came here just to... And you know what else is ironic? Is that Sam paid for that ring by himself. I didn't help him out whatsoever. He's doing really good with his new business. I tried to tell you that, but you were going to a friend's house. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry I didn't want to bother you, but your father has been harassing me. He threatened me, and I just came here to tell him that nothing will happen between us because I love you and only you, okay? Leslie, you play a good game, but this was just a test right from the beginning, and you failed. But you know what? I'm really glad it happened. No. Sam, do you really believe him over me? Really? Dad, I'm sorry. I didn't believe you. But you were right about her at first place. Don't worry about it, Sam. She doesn't deserve you. Yeah, I told you. If you want to be a general's wife, you have to marry a private. Okay. You know what? Go to hell. Both of you. Leslie! You don't have to go home. I packed your things and left outside the hotel. 